So this is my video, uh, my um, biofuels project, all ready to go for processing the tank. Okay, so now my method of blending vegetable oil with gasoline or petrol is to do it outside of the fuel tank. And the reason why I do it outside of the fuel tank is, is because I found that when you add gasoline to vegetable oil, then the lacquers that are naturally in vegetable oil will precipitate out. And if you do that in the fuel tank, then that precipitating uh, lacquer will accumulate at the bottom of your fuel tank and eventually get sucked up into your injector pump and glue it shut. And that's happened to me twice before I realized that I had to blend my gasoline with the vegetable oil first. And I do that in a tank like this. This is a 20 gallon or uh, 80 liter tank. And I basically uh, put about uh, five gallons of gasoline into it, or actually four gallons of gasoline, and then uh, 16 gallons of vegetable oil. And then maybe I drive around the block and I let the solution settle for anywhere between an hour to overnight. And then the next morning I drain off the, the um, sediments, which includes lacquers, uh, as well as water and sugar and salt in the waste vegetable oil, I drain that off with a bottom valve. And then I run the rest through the filters into my fuel tank. These three cylinders here are uh, filters. And the far right one is 50 microns, the one in the middle is 5 microns, and the one in the, at the far left is 1 micron filtration. And I have pressure gauges on the top to monitor the pressure. And I have uh, a pressure regulator up here for controlling the pressure. And instead of using a pump, I use a small compressor, which is right down there behind the ice chest. And this is where I'm going to drain off. Uh, that valve at the bottom of the tank is where I'm going to drain off the sludge. And this is the processing tank. Uh, so I, anyway, I have three stages of, of uh, powering this thing in case it's cloudy, then my solar panels you know, aren't working. I can use the alternator on the engine. Or, or if, let's say, the alternator is you know, low or I don't want to idle the engine, I can use the gasoline generator or something like that. Okay, so this valve I'm going to basically open up. Normally what I do is I drain off about 10% of the tank, which is 2 gallons. But this fuel is being refiltered from my fuel tank. So it's had most of its trapping done already, and I'm just, so I'm just going to draw, draw off a half a gallon. And it's been sitting in this tank for uh, two days. And can you tell by the color of, of it when you... All the and Normal, normally you can, but this has got 17% uh, uh, waste motor oil in it. Okay. And it's even at 17%, dark. Yeah. it's so dark I can't see anything. What, what I have noticed is that uh, uh, sludge tends to be thicker as well. And I noticed when I first opened the valve, maybe a cup of sludge. Uh, Thick sludge came out, but it was uh, it was so small amount that it was hard to. You know, you'd have to be pretty close to see that. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to I'm going to then let this sit around for a day or two, and then I'm going to uh, the sludge will settle to the bottom, and I'll pour the thin stuff off back into the tank. Okay. So that's done with that. Now. Uh, uh, oh yeah. So. This is the automatic fuel valve that my fuel goes into the fuel tank. And it comes out, the hose comes out of the last fuel filter right here. Okay. So how I get the thing rolling is I have another valve here that, that opens up the tank to my filtration process. And in fact, I forgot to show, uh, maybe I'll show the, the viewing public, that I have two Y-traps right here. 
This is 40 mesh and this is 80 mesh. And they're the first step out of the tank. And here is the valve that opens it up from the tank into the Y traps. And by the way, I have a clear plastic vinyl hose here that runs the full length of the tank, and that's my sight glass. It tells me right. how full how the tank is. Yeah. See, now it's full all the way to the top, Marine, because it's got, see, has that clear tube? It's full all the way to the top, so that means that's how much fuel is in that uh -huh. tank. Full. All right. And I leave my, the really important valve, I leave the handle off. Okay. Just in case somebody decided they were going to be a vandal and go, oh, I wonder what happens if I own this, uh, open this valve. <laughs> and I'd hate to see 20 gallons of oil end up. Sure, that cap is, uh, is a vented cap. Right. It doesn't allow the pressure to build up in there. Right. Since I'm using gasoline, I thought, you know, it's safer if I actually have a vented cap like right. a fuel cap. Okay. So now I'm going to open the valve. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the air pump going. And the air pump is run off of a deep cycle marine battery. It's okay. And I have an inverter here. And so I just switch it on. That keeps the air pump going. And I like to process at low pressure because, and I like the idea of using a compressor for my pump because it reduces the turbulence. So, you know, whereas with normally with a pump, like a centrifugal pump, it's churning and it's churning up the fluid, and I don't want that. I don't want to disturb the fluid. And we're, all, we're processing it maybe two PSI. Okay. Now, these, these uh, uh, filter cartridges can handle a 20 pre PSI pressure okay. drop yeah. across them. Right. So I can take the pressure up to 20 if I want to. So, that, so when you have to do that, that says, that says that the filter is plugging up.